Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is uh, the third video in my list of videos called uh, Know Your Android. So in each of these videos I give you a list of apps that I feel are very useful. So uh, in this video the first app that I'm going to talk about is called Auto App Organizer. Uh, this is a free app available from the Play Store. Uh, so you know one of the things that we usually struggle with Android is that you know, we switch different launchers, you know, there's Go Launcher X, there's ADW Launcher, there's Launcher Pro, just to name a few popular ones. And every time we migrate into a new launcher, we need to go ahead and reorganize the, you know, apps that we have into folders. So an easy way to do this is using this app called Auto App Organizer. What this app actually does is that it auto, when you install a new app, it automatically organizes it into different categories and then you can go ahead and set up a shortcut for each of these categories you can go ahead and add a new app add a new category so I'm going to name it uh, my apps and okay so now I'm going to go into my apps I'm going to go ahead and add a few apps to it so say for example I'm going to add camera, cartoon camera, uh, ES file explorer, Facebook, Gmail. Okay, these are the ones that I'm adding. Okay, so these five apps have been added. So now what you need to do next is I go into the launcher. So say for example, I want a folder for these five apps. All I need to do is go into widgets select auto app organizer drag it on and now it's going to ask me to select uh, the widget I want so as you can see I've got my apps over here I tap on it I get the five apps there so the advantage is say, say I want to you know switch launchers and go into go launcher X I don't have to manually select the five apps again all I need to do is once again go into apps I'm sorry, Go Launcher works different, I'm sorry. What I need to do is tap and hold, go into widgets, select Auto App Organizer, and select My Apps. So right now, on a whole new launcher, I've got My Apps, tapping on which again gives me the same five apps. So this app, what it does, it, it, it actually saves you time. Uh, you know, when you're experimenting with different uh, launchers, you don't need to take a lot of pains to set uh, apps into folders again and again. And it also, whenever you download and install a new uh, app from the market or the Play Store or whatever it's called today, I'm kind of getting confused. <sighs> I'm sorry. So uh, when you download and install, it has an option of automatic uh, categorization. Uh, say for example, if you can see, I've not categorized any of these by myself. But even without that, you know, you go on the internet and you've got all these apps. All these get categorized automatically. So that's another added advantage. If you need, if you need to use it, you can do that. So that's the first app on the list for today. Okay, let me go into Launcher. Uh, the next app on the list for the day is Cartoon Camera. This is pretty much what you expect from it. You know, I'm in a low light situation, so it's not going to be great. But let me just take one picture to show you. And now let me go out and open up the normal camera. I'll take you this and I'll take the same pic so that you can know what you're dealing with. So this is the normal picture that I took right now. And uh, this is the picture that cartoon camera took. So you know it's just it's got a bunch of effects it's just some you know funny ways to take pictures if you're into that kind of thing uh, it's not really very useful to say you know put it in that way but it's just something it's just something for fun you know making cranky pictures of your friend, friends and so on so that's pretty much it for cartoon camera uh, the, f the third application on the list for the day is Astro File Manager so you know most of the tablets or even uh, the HTC phones up to uh, since 2.0 don't come in don't come with an integrated or built-in file manager 
and this has been the file manager of choice for most people using Android for a long time now. So you tap on file manager, you get a Windows Explorer kind of uh, look with all your folders and stuff and this is internal memory, external SD card, if you plug in a USB storage device, USB device as in if your tablet has a USB port or if you're using a micro USB to USB converter for your phone you know the USB USB storage will actually show you that and you've got other ways of actually uh, what do you say sorting stuff out and you know getting stuff so this is your basic file manager and it's very very useful uh, this is the one that I've been using for quite some time now the fourth app on the list is called Libra so this is pretty much you know the app for health nuts and store so on so you know if you're trying to lose weight or something it actually helps you track down uh, you know your weight and stuff as in you can go ahead and you know add how much you weigh in on a certain day and you keep you can set a baseline or what is the weight that you expect to reach say for example you go in options and you go into preferences and you set a goal weight say for example it could either be in pounds or in kilos depending on what you want so let me say for example I mean for example let me switch it to kilograms and uh, set a goal weight so let's say my goal is 80, k 80 kg and I go back out and I add say I'm you know 83.5 now so I just add it and you see there's a dot so say for example tomorrow I am 82.83 so you can see the graph over there uh, where it is and when it expects you to reach if you continue in the same way so it also comes with a, with a widget for this purpose let me quickly get into that widget here okay there we go It takes you directly to insert the value and there is an, yet another widget the database list tapping on it takes you directly to the database showing how much you weigh on you know any particular day so that's pretty much it for Libra okay the last app uh, you know in this list for the day is called swipe pad and uh, thanks to Knight Riders XXX, I think that's his handle, or Knight Riders 92, I'm not sure. Uh, thanks to uh, thanks to uh, this user for bringing this app to my notice. I started using it, and I really like this app, and it's pretty pretty good. It's called Swipe Pad. So you know what this does is, no matter where you are, say for example, uh, I'm using the browser, okay, and I've got. I've got the top left as my sensitivity point so when I tap the top left and I move my finger it opens up swipe pad so from the browser I can jump into whatever app I want to or open up whatever widget I want say for example I'm uh, I'm setting applications and I'm setting calculator over there so I just tap it from the left and drag and I move into calculator now I'm in the calculator and I just want to jump back into say gallery and I've got gallery set over here so I tap on gallery and I move into gallery so again I want to move back into camera camera so it's pretty I mean it takes multitasking uh, on Android to a different level and uh, I'm pretty much uh, I like this app a lot there are a lot of options for this app you can select the sensitivity point as the top left or top right or left edge right edge and you can select different swipe pads to pop up for each say for example you've got games popping up from the swipe pad on the left if, if I set all of these two games I could have the top right corner as well and I could set and I could set a different pad for that I could add a new add more and uh, to add a, in order to add more in order to, in order to add more pads you need to actually pay it's uh, it's 84 rupees that's around two dollars or one dollar ninety nine I'm not exactly sure to, I mean not exactly sure something around that so uh, again so that is how swipe pad works it's a pretty decent app and I really like using it so 
I would suggest it for anybody who actually is interested in so it. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, if you have any kind of questions or queries, leave it in the comment section. Uh, you can hit me up on Twitter or Facebook or send me a direct email. All the details are in the uh, uh, description. Uh, so once again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, I will be up, you know, uh, with more uh, Know Your Android uh, videos, you know, for apps and stuff. Uh, if you if there is any app that you feel is worth mentioning on the videos, please uh, leave it in the comment section, and I'll make sure I uh, mention it and I also give you credit for it. Uh, so once again, that's pretty much it. Uh, and of course, before you go, hit the like button, or I mean, and the subscribe button, of course. Mm, and uh, you can click on the link, you know, below, and check out the other Know Your Android uh, videos. Uh, that's that's it guys thanks a lot for watching you guys have a great day bye bye now